And today is Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. And we're going to do some fun stuff today, I hope. And keep it simple. We'll talk about the pen tool a whole lot today. We're not going to show you how to use it, but we will talk about it a whole lot. Oh, so that was breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and if you bring up the pen tool again, you're gone. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and hit my share screen, go into Photoshop. And just a reminder that um, if you'd like to, you can. You don't have to. This is free for everybody. Um, you can pay me via Venmo as a donation. But, and the only reason I bring this up is not to be getting money out of you guys. It's just people have asked me to put this up there every once in a while because they want to give me money. And I am not one to turn it down. So. Just screenshot that or take a picture with your cell phone. That'll get you into my account and you can pay me lots and lots and lots of money. <laughs> so get rid of that. Next thing up, we have West Coast School coming up June 4th through the 9th, 2023. We just finished our last one a couple of weeks ago. And this year coming up, we have Sandra Pierce, Shannon Squires, Tim Meyer, Joe Glida, Woody and Chris, Doug and Laura, some guy named Michael Collins, and Tony Corbell. You can sign up at westcoastschool.com or you can go to ppconline.com and sign up for West Coast School or call the 800 number that's on the screen there, 1-800-439-5839, extension 3 or extension 1. It's going to be the same person answering it. It's going to be Mel, so... And he's not going to be here today. He is in New Mexico. I believe one of his daughters is getting married this week. So that's where he's at right now. And let's get rid of that. So command W, goodbye, gone. Gary, are you on right now? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Gary sent me this image and asked for a suggestion on how to make it look like the cigar was lit, add a little smoke, um, and do a few other things. So I figured that's what I'd do today is show how to light the cigar without a match. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. And I'm going to make it really simple and easy, and hopefully we'll learn a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. And I think what I want to do is make a new layer in overlay mode. So I'll just hold the option or alt key, click on create new layer. And that brings up the new layer dialog. And I'm going to call this shadow because I'm going to add a little bit more shadow to the cigar. I'm going to change the color mode or the mode from normal down to overlay. And when I do that, you'll see it opens up another dialog box, fill overlay with neutral color, which is 50% gray. I will click yes, and then click OK. And you'll notice on the layers panel that it shows as shadow. It named it for me, and it also filled it with 50% gray. It does absolutely nothing when I click it on and off. <clears throat> and the reason being overlay mode does the shadow, the grays, the midtones. If it was in normal mode, it would fill it up. In fact, let's change it to normal. And it fills it with 50% gray. It's pure gray. Go to darken, anything darker, it's gonna darken down or anything that's lighter than the gray will darken down. If you go to lighten mode, anything that's lighter than the gray will lighten up and overlay just makes everything disappear. I'm going to paint with a soft edge brush and I'm going to take it down to 10% and I'm going to add a shadow at the bottom of the cigar. And if you do it at 10%, it's very, very gradual. So you can see just a little bit of darkening on there just to add some shadow so you can see the direction of light. If I did it at 100%, I'll do it on the top of the cigar, and you can see what it does at 100%. It 
it goes very, very dark. So make sure you do this like 10% and gradually build it up. 10% flow or 10%? Um, I do 10% opacity. Um, some people paint with flow. I paint with opacity. Occasionally I'll change to flow depending on what I need. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to use opacity. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're doing here. Whoops. Okay, there again, <laughs> my keyboard shortcut is not working. So I'll go to zoom. I'm hitting the space bar and nothing is happening. So I'll go to the hand tool and move it over a little bit. That is stinking bizarre. Because when I hit the space bar, it should go and it's not. Okay. What I want to do is I want to light. I'm going to burn the end down on the cigar just a little bit. So let me go back to my brush tool again, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to kind of burn the edges down a little bit and darken on the outside of it. And that's, that's going to show where it was burned or where it's burning at. I'm going to add another layer. And I'm doing this on separate layers so you can see what we're doing. Normally, I would just do it all on <coughs> one layer. So I'm going to go to probably a gray. That's almost a 50% gray. I don't care. And I'm just going to kind of <coughs> bring this up to just a little bit of gray in there, like the ashes that you would have on a cigar. So I took it up to 40%, add a little bit in there. And you can see there's some gray in there now. So let's go ahead and title that gray. And do you spell gray with EY or AY? Doesn't matter to me, I don't care. Now I'm gonna add some flame or actually a little bit of red, but I'll call it flame. And so what I'll do is I'm just gonna use the red from his flower and I'm in the brush mode. All I have to do is hold the alter option key and it brings up my color picker. So I just brought up my red. And then let's do this at about 30% or so, which might be, well, that's not too bad. I take it down to 20%. And now we got a lit cigar. And I'm gonna do a little bit more on the edge here with black at about 20% also, just to get that little burn in. So now it almost looks like it's lit, but wait, there's more. What I wanna do next is I wanna add some smoke. So let's make a new layer, title it smoke. And now we have a new layer titled smoke. And I'm gonna play with the brush a little bit to get it perfected. So I'm going to add a new um, new document. And let's just do 8 by 10 and make it black for a background. OK. 8-bit color. Who cares about all that? Because it doesn't matter. And we're going to go to B for brush. And I'm going to change from my soft edge brush that I have going on. <coughs> and I'm going to go into a smoke brush. Um, going through the amount of brushes that I have would take me a little while to find the smoke brush that I want. And the problem is every time I do a program and show brushes, I show how to put new brushes in. So now I've got brushes from my, backed up from my computer, all Mike's brushes, I got Mike's brushes and then brushes from Michael's MP, M, whatever that is. I don't even know what that one is. And I've probably got a thousand brushes in there. So all I have to do is go up to the search, which is up towards the top. You see a little magnifying glass and you type in smoke. 
And now you can find all the different smoke brushes that are available out there. And I'm going to go with, well, let's go with the Smoke 02. And I want to change the color to white so it shows up on the black because we're going to be using a white smoke anyway. So let's just hit the X key to make it go change colors. And you all know D for default, X to exchange on your colors. And it's really quick and easy. Or if you really want, you can go over here and click on that little bitty box right there to go to default and then there to exchange colors. Now that's too much work for me. And I'm at 20%. I want to be able to see it. So command Z type zero to hit hundred percent on the opacity. And that's my smoke brush that I have right now. And I'm not liking that because it's got a ring around it. So let's undo that. And go to smoke brushes again. Let's try this one. That one looks a little bit better, but it's sideways. So to fix that, what I'll do is I'll go into my brush settings and I'll change from angle of zero. You have a little arrow here. I'm going to drag that to the top. So it's at 90 degrees. What's that? So let's see. That looks like it'd work pretty good. Although it's not quite what I want, but I'll take it anyway. So you got your tip shape. Spacing's at 10%. I'm going to bring it down to 1%. So there's no spacing. I'm not planning on painting across. I'm just going to use the brush. And then shape dynamics, I'm going to change the angle jitter to say 50%. So what that does, every time I use the brush, it changes the angle on the brush. So I can use it multiple times. <coughs> and every time I touch it, it's going to change. So it doesn't look like the same brush over and over. Transfer. We'll go to opacity jitter. Let's take it to about 30%. Um, and that will make each different one just slightly different on opacity. And pretty much that's all I need to do to do this brush. Scattering, I'm not going to use it over and over. So we're OK. Texture, I don't plan on doing anything crazy with the texture. Just double check to make sure. Dual brush color dynamics, foreground to background jitter. I'm going to change that a little bit only so it goes black and white. It just adds a little bit of color when I add different brushes. So I'll just and just does a little bit of a, a dance for me now. So let's close that one over here and make the brush a little bit smaller. And you know what? Let's go into brush settings one more time and brush tip shape. Right now it's set to a round brush. I'm going to drag the side in, which will make it a taller, longer smoke. So let's see how this goes. That's at 100%. I do not like it. So let's go down to 40%. And just kind of build up a little bit. And even there, it might be a little, well, that's not too bad. Change the size a little. So I get more in depth in there. And if you don't like exactly how it does, you can mask it. And I'm masking with the brush, the smoke brush, to take out some of the side over there. 
And you definitely don't want perfect smoke. <coughs> and when you get it to where you like it, just apply the layer mask, which makes it go away. And now it's on its own layer there. And I'm going, smoke is normally not crystal clear sharp. So let's go ahead and go to filter, convert to smart filters, which makes it a smart object. Then we'll go filter, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, however you want to pronounce it. You can blur it really blurry or just a touch of blur so it's not sharp like the rest of the image. And now you've got a lit cigarette or lit cigar. And I think I'm going to leave that at that. But I don't like the color of his jacket. It's too blue. I'm not into blue today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a layer above everything that has the whole shebang in there. So the fastest way to do that, shift option, shift alt command, or shift option alt control, and then E will merge everything up and you got it made. Okay, from here, I'm going to add an adjustment layer, hue and saturation. And I'm going to pick the color of his suit. And you can see the range that it picked already right here and a little bit over here. And so I'm going to change the hue to a little bit different. Yeah, I think purple would go good with him. Just a slight desaturation because that's a used jacket. And we'll adjust the lightness just a little bit and say, hey, I like that. Now, it also changed the sign up at the top, which I didn't like. So I'll just hit the layer mask, B for brush. Make sure you're painting with black. And we're going to go soft edge round brush. And make sure it's in black. Hello. Take it back to the color that it was. Now that flower looks really fake. I'm not liking that flower. So what I'm going to do now is do the same thing over again. Do the shift option command or shift alt control E, merge visible. And I'm going to do a hue and saturation one more time. Click the hand where it says preset. Click on that flower to get the red. And then we're going to change the flower, hopefully. Let's do green because that just matches him perfectly. Hey. And when you smoke a cigar, your face goes green, right? So let's fix that. I'm going to fill the uh, mask with black. The reason I'm filling the mask with black is now I can just paint in the flower that I want. So this time I'll paint with white, B for brush. And it changed again. Good. That's a good thing. And we'll just paint. I don't have to worry about being completely accurate because it's only doing the color right there. <clears throat> if it did his whole jacket a different color and I wanted the flower, then I'd have to select the flower and do that. But at this point, I don't have to. So let's take a look at, well, let's do snapshot. So we got before and after, before and after. And if you decide you don't want that sign blue above his head, we'll do the same thing again. We'll make a new layer out of everything. Go to here in saturation. And I'm just going to desaturate that sign. So I'll click on the sign up here, desaturate it. I say click on the sign and desaturate it. There we go. So it's almost gone. Let 
and we'll darken it down just a little bit so it's totally almost gone. And then again, we'll go to history, go to snapshot. So you got your, this is your beginning photo. This is where we smoked him and changed the color of his jacket. And snapshot three is where we desaturated that sign, took the blue out of it so it wouldn't stand out. So any questions on what I just showed you? Quick, easy. For giggles, change it to black and white. I can do that. I think that'd be crazy cool. We can do that. So let's do the same thing again. Cool. I'll just do a set, do a black and white layer. And if you want, you can adjust any of the skin tones, like there's red in his face, so we'll bring up his face a little bit. Um, and just play with the colors here a little. Bring his jacket down a little bit more. It's actually a pretty cool image with it in black and white. But wait, there's more. I'm going to click on the uh, mask right there. And I'm going to paint with black. So X to exchange colors. There we go. Something a little different. It's just that easy to change to black and white. Um, if you don't like the black and white, then you turn it off and go back to where you were. Oh, in this case, let's go ahead and add a new layer. So I'm going to do Command Option Shift D or the claw. Go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Go up to my masking options and do a radial gradient over his face. Let's invert that so it's on the outside and then drop the exposure down. And you see I'm at a 66 pixel feather. So I got it feathered pretty good. And if everything goes right, darken down the edges just a little bit. And it's not a sharp, harsh darkening I did to make a vignette. It's just brought it down about 50%, um, doing a soft feather. So the main focus goes on his face. And that's where you want the focus to be, is on his face. Unless you're trying to show off the cigar, which in that case, We'll make sure that we show off the cigar with a brush and we'll paint it back in. It looks like his cigar is like ice cold with all the white on it. Anyway. I just thought I'd play with that a little bit and go from there. So there's there's all kinds of things you can do. The, probably the hardest part is figuring out how you're going to do what you want to do. That's probably the hardest part. Once you got it figured out, it's going and just start painting and adjusting things that you want to adjust. Questions? Comments? Complaints? Hi, hey Mike. Yes, sir. I'm looking at this and working here at Snow Valley. We're in mountain biking season. And I thought, boy, I could create dust off of tires with the smoke options, the smoke brushes. Correct. Or clouds or anything. Yeah. But I'm looking at, you know, how dust gets kicked up off of mountain bike tires and Add some dimension of speed, motion, 
you know, sometimes we don't always have that, so I can enhance it. What I would do with the dust, obviously you want the brown or dirt colored dust, and you can do, let me, let me share real quick, see if I can come up with something. Uh, let's do command new, black and white, there we go. In fact, let's change it to white. So we'll fill it with white, B for brush, and we'll do, that's probably too much gold, but we'll make it, make it work. There we go. And we'll get a, we'll just use a smoke brush. And you can you can use a cloud or something like that. Um, let's try this one. So what I want to do is I want to turn this brush from up and down. You can see it goes up and down. We don't really want that. We want it at an angle. So I'll go to brush settings, and I'm going to change the angle to 40 or 45 degrees where it's coming off and looks like it's going to be coming off behind him. Mm -hmm. and then, then we'll do a smaller brush. And then what I would do, or what you could do, let's make this a, a copy layer. Go to filter, blur. Um, let's go with, do motion blur to start with. And distance, it depends. Yeah, that's not really doing what I want. Well, the other thing I was looking at is when we squeezed it down, the brush, to an uh -huh. oval. Yeah, you can squeeze the, the sides in. And then you want to blur it slightly. So we'll go to filter, blur gallery, path blur. And that'll get you a side to side blur there. And you can bump the speed a little bit. Okay. So it kind of blends in. And then maybe throw some dirt or rocks in there with a, a hard edge brush as well. Okay, I got I got the idea. So get and you want when you do that, make sure that the dust coming up behind is not all one color. Well, a little bit of dark, a little bit of light. So yeah. maybe look at a photograph of somebody that a real photograph and then add it in. Yeah, it could maybe even clone the dust coming off of one of the other mountain bike shots I've done over the years. You could. Or just get artistic and have fun with it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. You bet. Other questions, could, comments? Could could you not photograph some, actually go out and specifically photograph some dust and then you create could. a brush of actual dust? That would be easy to do. Yeah. 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 Get somebody that can create some dust and make sure you get a big pile of dirt there mm. so that they kick it up. Maybe put it in a medium gear and have them do a little quick spin out to get your dust going. And if you can get a dark- yeah, It's gotta be subtle though. All this yeah. Oh, yeah. dust is- you know, you can't have a heavy hand with no. uh, trying to kick up dust. It's just a, the hint of it. Right. That's why you use the opacity slider on your brush yeah. or flow. And what you could do is have Gary get out there on his bike and do a quick spin out for you. <laughs> Anything else out there? Okay. Let me un unrecord. So I'll stop recording.